Good evening to you. Welcome to the 7 o'clock newscast at First Coast News. One of the most contentious issues right now in St. Augustine is short term rentals and like in many tourism driven cities, Airbnbs and other short term rental properties are popping up inside of St. Augustine's neighborhoods, somewhat changing the feeling of communities and Im even impacting businesses. We are on your side introducing you to two people who will help guide the city about how to handle this mounting issue. <laughs> Tom Day lives in a St. Augustine neighborhood where he knows his postal worker. I'm a resident uh, and I really like this neighborhood. That's what he brings as a member of the city's newly created short-term rental committee. I am actually representing the 24 historic bed and breakfasts in the city. Which That's why Pat Dobaj, who runs the Kenwood Inn in downtown St. Augustine, is a committee member as well. They are two of seven people on the committee aimed to tackle the controversial short-term rental trend that is exploding in St. Augustine. One of the committee members lives right here, just a couple blocks from downtown St. Augustine, and he says within 100 yards of his house, there are now three short-term rentals. He says there could be more, but sometimes they're not registered with the city. We're anxious to see everyone on an equal playing field in terms of regulation supporting. Dobaj says hoteliers and other innkeepers have to abide by regulations and they want to make sure short term rental operators do too, such as have police and fire inspections and parking requirements. As a B&B owner, I am required to have off street parking for every one of my rooms. We, the St. Augustine Historic Inns, would like to see that they are also required to provide off street parking for their guests. She would also like the city to manage the number of short term rentals. Day would like to see short term rental operators and the city clamp down on visitor behavior. There are codes that uh, govern trash collection, noise, when, how loud your music can be and how late at night you can run it. Those need to be enforced. And both say there are positives to short term rentals. The houses and yards often look really nice and renting rooms out allows people to afford to stay in their homes longer. But one of their big concerns is maintaining the community feel inside of neighborhoods, which often is drained when short term rentals push long term residents out. I am definitely not against them. I want to be sure that they are managed by the city to the advantage of the city and the advantage of the people that own the properties. And the short term rental committee will have three meetings all in the Alcazar room at St. Augustine City Hall. The first Thursday afternoon, that's the first meeting and all three meetings last three hours each and they are open to the public. An inmate.